What's up, America? Neil here with Jogger Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today, we're going to be looking at the Alien Gear Rapid Force Duty Holster. So let's get started. All right, so the Rapid Force uh, by Alien Gear, very unique uh, setup. There's a lot of things I like, a lot of things I would maybe make some changes or improve. Um, so we'll dive into that. Just so you guys know, it comes with this uh, cardboard backer, yeah, whatever. And then it also has uh, these accoutrements. Now what this is, and I'll show you here in a second, these are different components that you can swap out to custom fit, which I'm, I'm very pleased with, uh, as far as the holster itself. So there's going to be some, some uh, changes that you can make depending on what you're looking for. And uh, for that part, I was very, very impressed. So my first impressions, uh, and again, just to be very clear, I'm a full-time law enforcement officer and uh, I use a duty holster every day. Uh, so when this first came out, I was, I was very intrigued and I wanted to get my hands on it. So here it is. Uh, I've done a lot of testing with it as far as just constant draws and working from it and, and, and that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> the, the, the challenge, I think, overall as a company uh, is that a lot of departments say you have to use brand X or that type of thing. So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but there's plenty of departments out there that uh, have a little bit more free freedom uh, of, of equipment. So we'll see how that develops. Uh, we all know, for those of you in security and law enforcement, and I'm, I, will, I can't do this video justice without at least talking about its biggest competitor a little bit. Um, you guys all know who that is. They're the number one uh, duty holster in the world by, by far, as far as the numbers go. And I think everyone's going to kind of compare this holster to that. And there's definitely some advantages. And uh, again, when it comes to holsters, like any equipment, there's a lot of personal preference, right? Just because I like something doesn't mean that you might like something. We might like different things. One thing I want to point out right now, uh, you'll see here on my, on my slide, you have a uh, raised slide release made by, I believe it's pronounced Craig Works. Uh, I can put a link to it. Uh, just so you know, I, I asked Alien Gear to send me a 19 holster, and I was, I was more curious than anything. We'll get into that in a second. I cannot physically shoot a 19 without causing the slide to lock open because of my aggressive thumbs forward grip and how large my hands are. So I have to use this, otherwise the gun will just lock open almost every round. Um, so when I got the holster, I started experimenting with it and I was a little disappointed because it didn't fit the way I wanted it to. And I realized that um, this was interfering with the way the, the way the gun goes in there. So we'll talk about that. So for the rest of the video, that's gonna be gone. So we're back to, uh, oh, let's go this way. We're back to our regular uh, setup. So this is a, a Gen 5 <clears throat> 19. Now, one thing right off the bat before we get into the functionality of the holster is we always talk about how uh, we like the CZP-10C. A, a lot of uh, holsters you can fit, if it fits a 19, you can fit the CZ, uh, but you cannot. And that is because one of the things I was very impressed with is the tolerances that uh, Alien Gear built into this holster. I mean, this, if you hear any rattle at all, it's, it's just the piece, the actual gut, the little release mechanisms here in the back. But if I leave this uh, and just kind of hold my thumb, this gun does not move at all in there. It is extremely tight, uh, which is uh, pretty impressive. When you order this one, it has a light option. And so far, I haven't found really any lights. Uh, most common, obviously, is going to be your TLR1. I also have the uh, Valkyrie Pro, and I have the PL Mini. And so far, every light that I've stuck on here uh, functions flawlessly with the holster itself. So there's the, the Valkyrie, no issues whatsoever. And the TLR1 fits, obviously, as well. So uh, it's eaten every other light that we can throw in it. First of all, you get your stickers and all that kind of good stuff in a manual, which we'll talk about here in a second. Uh, and you get this uh, screw for if you're going to be removing uh, some parts. So <clears throat> first of all, what parts are we talking about? Right here, this is your retention, uh, one of uh, several retentions. But this, when I have the gun locked into place, okay, the gun will not come out unless that is depressed. Okay, in addition to that being depressed, you also have to move a paddle, okay? So basically you have three levels of retention here. Essentially, when you go to grip your, your pistol naturally, you're gonna press down, and then as your thumb rolls off into the grip, it's gonna automatically release. So you're gonna have, you're pressing here, 
and then this paddle. Now this paddle is, is adjustable. You can put in a different paddle size if you want that to be a little bit larger, all right? Along with the depth of this button, okay? And I'm sorry, here's the, uh, the other size as well. So you have three sizes. Three sizes for the press and three, three sizes for the, the uh, lever, okay? So here's the uh, other size that would go inside there. And then you have a shorter one as well. I haven't really changed this out because it just seemed to be perfect for me. And I like that the way, way it is. Now this, on the other hand, this is a guard, okay? And I'll turn it so you can kind of see a little bit here. This is a guard. And so what this does is it prevents uh, people from trying to get in there and grab your button. And it also helps kind of guide your thumb in there. This does not move. It's locked. And as you can see right here, you'll see these screws. So you can back these out and you can adjust these. Uh, for me, I'd, I'd probably raise this up a little bit. Um, but I just kept it the way it was right out of the box just to kind of see how I thought of it. And I was more interested in the functionality and the drawing and all that stuff. So um, you can definitely raise that up and I would, I would recommend that. So again, fully adjustable, three different levels, fully adjustable, three different levels, and of course you've got your locking hood, which is something we're going to talk about. I'm about to uh, put this on, and before I do, I want you guys to be able to see the accessibility on some of these screws. Some of them are a little tight, like this one back here. Uh, you're going to have to take the actual piece off here. This, uh, using screws, by the way, this, this attachment point, uh, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I don't love it and I don't hate it. Um, I would prefer it not have screws, uh, just for the the ease of adjustment. Uh, one of the things that's difficult with duty holsters is getting your gear set up just the way you want it. Um, and so you're going to have to adjust these screws in order to get your duty belt, because although you can run your, your typical normal EDC belt or your fashion belt, when we get into heavier duty belts, um, it's, it's going to be a little more challenging to run that through. So you're going to want to take these screws out. And personally, I would just prefer a, a, either a fixed loop with an adjustment in there. Um, but this is my personal opinion. It doesn't make it bad. It's certainly very strong. I mean, this, this is a tank of a holster. Uh, I have to say that. There's, I can't fault it at all on its durability. It is just very, very well made. So as I'm putting this on, this is my uh, core belt, uh, EDC everyday carry belt. It's not tremendously thick or anything. And you can see how tight this fits in there. Okay, so again, we're gonna to want to get a screwdriver and back those out. Um, for for right now, we're gonna we're gonna make it work. Then we have the 19, and I said earlier, kind of alluded that I was interested to see what it was. Um, I'm not sure why any manufacturer, not any gear in particular, but why any manufacturer would make a 19 duty holster. I mean, specifically a 19. Just make a 17. If you want to put a 19 in it, you can. What's what's the difference? It would fit both holsters, but because uh, this part that's cut out here, it's kind of unnecessary, right? What does it really matter? It's a off, it's not like you're trying to conceal it. It's going to be outside the waistband. But anyway, nonetheless, pretty sweet. So we have the uh, Valkyrie on there now. Uh, so basically, we put the gun in there. As soon as we put it in there, it locks, okay? And you might see the, the holster move a little bit because, again, it's not necessarily a duty belt. Um, but it's nice and locked in there. Then we can lock our hood, and we're good to go, okay? So now what happens is, I'll turn this way. When you go to take a, a master grip with your pistol, as your thumb comes down, you're going to notice that this hood will immediately release. Okay, so it's not something you have to physically release. It's spring-loaded. And as, as, as hard as I tried, I cannot beat it. I can't get to a scenario where I'm trying to pull it out before uh, it clears. It's, it's impossible. So that gets, that gets uh, released. Now, even though that's released, the gun still won't come out unless I press this paddle, which may be hard to see on camera, but it's gonna be right here. So it's gonna be, as I sweep my thumb down, it clears right out. So it's a very natural movement. Um, I think they call it gross motor skill or something like that in their material, but essentially what it is, it's trying to naturally get your draw. So you're not really thinking about, am I releasing a bunch of stuff? Okay, super smooth. Now, the way I set my duty holsters up, and again, it's personal preference, is there's actually a friction uh, level in there. I want no friction. I've already, I'm already defeating a hood, a button, and another lever. I don't want anything else on there. However, there is an adjustment, and I'll show it on the camera here where I'm pointing to, uh, but there's a screw down there, and you can adjust that uh, to have even more friction, more tension in there. Again, not my bag. I want, I want this to come out very, very quickly and know that when it's in there, it is locked, okay? So let's talk about the thing that I don't like, or I would like to improve. So 
when we're talking about just your EDC, your you know regular guy and gal out there just carrying, this probably doesn't seem like a big deal. But for law enforcement, to me, this is a huge deal. And that is this hood. When the hood is, is forward, right, okay, it doesn't lock. So you're probably like, well, who cares? Well, I can tell you on many occasions, if the hood, if you carry one that has a hood on it, if it doesn't lock, there's situations where in a struggle, when you go to move your gun or equipment or someone's, you got to all of a sudden put your gun back, again, not a big deal as a civilian running around, but when you're talking about law enforcement, there's lots and lots of times where you're going to come out and then all of a sudden you're going to put your gun back in because you got a handcuff or you got to go hands on or you got to get another piece of equipment out, whatever the case is. And so if during this process, somehow this gets, this hood gets shut, okay, there's nothing I can do to get this back into the holster now. All right, that's an issue with me. So now I gotta, now when you do that, you have this very weird way of trying to unlock this if you only had to use one hand or you gotta use two. So when this is here, then I gotta kind of press this and move it down. So the problem I have with that not locking out, again, is I'm here, let's say that this gets closed, and now I can't put my gun away. So now I gotta take more time and figure out what I'm doing under a stressful scenario where I have to probably go hands-on with somebody. So if it were me, if I were to make a suggestion, it would be that this hood stays locked open. Now, if the hood stays locked open, check this out, okay? Just like the holster that I use, Brand X, if I put this back in, it automatically locks. It's still locked in there. See that? It's not gonna come out. The gun's locked. I still have to press down and release the lever in order to get it out, which can be done extremely fast, okay? But if this was locked forward, it would have to be me, like I have to press a lever and then cover it, and now it's solid. Again, there is no way, no matter how fast you are, you cannot beat that hood. I would just like it to lock open and stay locked until I decide to manually close it back up for that reason. See a, 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 like a lever a level there of different bars, and as you turn the screw, which is located right there, uh, that will actually adjust, again, how much friction that you want to have. Again, completely user-friendly. The one thing I, I can say, just like uh, the ShapeShift setup, the concept there is it's extremely customizable uh, for a duty holster. All right, I said I wasn't a super fan of the, the setup, but I do like the standoff, how far away the gun sits from your body. When you're wearing a vest, which you're always going to be wearing as a law enforcement of some sort, uh, that clears everything really well. Very, very convenient, very fast. Your hand's very natural. Now... Here's the really th the one thing I was like, man, you know what would be sweet if they would do? If they made a quick disconnect, because I will show you one of my favorite features of the actual rig that I, I typically wear, again, from a different manufacturer, is this quick lock uh, system, okay? And so why do we care about this? So for me, as a, as a law enforcement officer, I like the fact that I can take my gun and I have another little paddle attachment, and I can just click this on to my side in my regular gear or before I don don everything on, all my equipment. And that way when I'm going to work or whatever the case is, it's very convenient and easy. And then when I get to work, I can simply take that entire rig, that entire holster, uh, even if you, you switch guns or whatever, but you can take that holster off and you can click it back in. So I did something, not really a guy thing to do, right? I read the manual. And here's the cool part. In the very back of the manual, it shows a quick disconnect. So they do make one. I looked on their website, didn't see one. I reached out to my rep. Uh, I'm sure they were very busy, never got back to me on that one. But supposedly there is one. And so that would make this system truly incredible. I would really like to see that. Uh, I said earlier about this, the, the oddity of having a 19 specific holster. Just so you guys understood what I'm talking about. This is my regular duty holster, which obviously will fit a full 17 and obviously fit a 19. So since it's a duty holster, it doesn't really matter, but nonetheless. One other feature that uh, you'll find for those that want a cant. So I like my gun zero cant, just straight up and down as possible. But if you want to change that, once again, you can customize that. You can change these screws placement and you can turn your holster uh, in three different degree, three different uh, angles that you'd like. After all this, uh, would I use this holster if I could? And uh, I would with uh, the exception of I would remove the hood or I would get the option without the hood um, just because it doesn't lock out. And that's, a, it's, that's, that's an issue. Again, personal preference. Doesn't make it bad. Just uh, something that I would change. 
and I would really be keen on the fact if it does have that quick disconnect, I'm sure they do if they put it in the manual, it just isn't, isn't available yet or I haven't seen it yet. Um, but that would make this pretty much a, a perfect holster. I can't, uh, I can't really fault it anywhere else. The uh, pattern, the uh, uh, basket weave, another thing I'd say you could probably uh, step up a little bit. It looks a little not real basket weave. Uh, even the, the, the other brands of basket weave uh, seem to be a little bit better done. This is kind of a show it up kind of close to the camera there. Uh, it's not horrible, it's just uh, I think they could do a lot better, especially alien gear, because you guys do some of the highest quality stuff out there. I mean, some of the details, like I made a joke one time, if you guys watch any of the other videos, some of the details they put on their holsters is like, why? Like, they'll show like the pinhole for the trigger shoe and stuff like that actually on the outside of the holster. It's like, that's insane. Um, so I think they could step that up because I know the quality that they can produce. Um, and then of course, though, I'm sure they're gonna come out with more attachments. I know that you can attach this to a drop leg and that kind of thing. Um, so that's going to be something that would also improve its versatility out there as well. So very exciting to see that. I like the one just giant hole for the light and you don't have to worry about is it a TLRR, is it is a, you know, X300, what, what kind of light is it? It's just one pretty much will fit just about any light you can, you can find. So uh, I do think that is very ingenious. The holster is thoroughly well made and uh, I would definitely give it my stamp of approval. So if you have an, uh, an ability to... Uh, carry your own holster or your own brand of holster or whatever, I would definitely uh, tell you to look into the Rapid Force. As you guys saw, uh, there was no tricks there. That you can get this gun out fast, and there's not a whole lot of, I mean, it's not like I had a, had some learning curve. It was pretty much how you grab your gun and it comes out, and when it's in, it's very secure. So good on you guys for that. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, put them down below, of course. Uh, I'm going to continue to test this, and if I find out tomorrow that it blows up, I'll let you know. Uh, but again, I think it's a high-quality product, and I definitely stand behind it. You know where to find us, of course, uh, here on YouTube, also Facebook. We now are, are on Twitter. And, of course, we put our A-list stuff, specific videos that only you get from Patreon on Patreon. So I encourage you to check that out, along with some added bonuses and features with that. Until next time, remember, it's always better be judged by 12 than carried by 6.